Yeah, we're having trouble with our microwave. Um, it just doesn't heat things up. Um, it takes a long time, a long, long time to heat up a ready meal. It's nothing near the 800 watts that it's supposed to be. Um, so I did thought, oh, well, I'll fix it. I'll get a new magnetron, which is a thing that generates the microwave energy. Invented in the Second World War in Cambridge by a couple of physicists to um, generate high power short wavelength radio waves to improve the resolution of radar, but that's another story. Um, but yeah, maximum 400, maybe it took twice as long. And I think, oh, the magnetron's gone. But we particularly like this uh, microwave. I'll show you why. Um, if I get Grandad's mug there, uh, just with some water in and put it in, I'll show you why we like this microwave. It's a well-used, well-loved microwave, but it's got very simple controls. It's got two controls. You've got the cooking power control, and then this simple, single control here where you just spin it to set the time, and then you let go, and it cooks, okay? So it's very good, and you can change the time and everything else. If you want to turn it off, you just spin it this way. Altogether, a very good microwave, very simple to control. You don't have to go into programming the keypads, get your glasses out and type war and peace on here to get the thing to do what you want to do. These overcomplicated microwaves, frankly, are ridiculous. But um, I think Samsung have just dropped this control system in the UK. Probably it's too complicated for some people. But anyway, um, it wasn't heating things up. So I thought, oh, well, I'll take the cover off, which I did, and I'll check the, mic the magnetron. And it seemed okay, but you can't really test it. Um, but the magnetron's about 50, 60 quid on, on uh, Amazon and eBay. And the whole mic new microwave's 80 pounds, but we didn't want to sacrifice this control system. And then I thought, well, let's just see how much current the magnetron is taking. You have to be really careful, because um, it's working at a couple of thousand volts. So don't mess about unless you're an electric engineer and know what you're doing. But the upshot was that it was taking not very much current at all probably about 250 watts worth of current. It should take a lot more than the 800 watts rated power because a lot of heat is lost in the magnetron. And then I thought, oh, maybe um, I'll have a look inside to see what the waveguide shape was. And then in there, can you see that, that aperture there is where the wave, the microwaves come out and hit everything and then they're inside the unit. And what was on that was this piece of um, mica. You can see it here. And I took that mica, mica out. I thought, well, I'll just try it now. And with the mica removed, the magnetron <laughs> took nearly three times as much power um, current. So the magnetron was much happier because if you reflect the power back into magnetron, either it can overheat it or it can stop it oscillating properly. It's a resonant device, like a whistle. I suppose you could look at it as an electronic whistle, but if you block the outlet, it won't whistle properly, so it won't draw the current. So it can damage the, the magnetron or just stop the magnetron's radio waves coming out, bouncing back in, affecting the resonance and also affecting the power output. And this mica, which is a mineral which was used widely as insulators back in the old days and still is, uh, I took this off and then the whole thing just burst into life. So it isn't the magnetron. It isn't the microwave, it's just this cover, which has got food or something like contamination on it. And in microwave speak, it's reflecting or absorbing the power. I don't think it can be absorbing it, otherwise it would get red hot. So, yeah, so I took that out and it, boy, it's been heating up. It's been catching people out, actually. They've been putting drinks in for the normal time that they would expect it to heat up and it's come back, <laughs> bloody things boiling. It is so much better without that in, okay? So the question is, Where'd you get one of those from? Well, you can buy them for four or five pounds, but I bought them in this form from China for about one pound twenty delivered. It's exactly the same stuff. Comes in a square. It's about a hundred millimeters square, square piece, same thickness. And I just got the um, Stanley knife and chopped out a new one using the old one as a template. All right. So yeah, it's quite a surprise actually. So if your microwave is just not doing the do for you. Um, remove that cover and see whether that's the cause. And this is 
about 60 p's worth of mica a new one I've put in and I've tested it and it works fine so there's something about this old piece which is causing the problem stopping the power getting out of the waveguide and into your water molecules in your food so anyway I hope that's useful so I don't condemn your microwave just get a piece of take that out first the cover from the waveguide on the inside and then try it out but I wouldn't recommend using it because bits of food and stuff like might fly into your magnetron okay and the waveguide and that wouldn't be good so we've been using it for a couple of weeks without the uh, cover fitted because it's so much more effective but anyway I hope that's um, useful if your microwave is not doing the do then whip out the waveguide cover and see whether it does the do afterwards and if it does do the do then get a new piece uh, and cut it out and stick it in so anyway if you can subscribe down there that would be great I appreciate that but I hope you found that useful